Hey friends, Wayne over here at the Ram Man Inc. Famous for Mopar parts, both car and truck. Legend in his own time. Legend in his own mind. So I told y'all that I was going to begin. It's been about five years people have been asking about a big rotor kit for the Dodges or Rams or for the damn Dodge. So I told you I'd work on it. Here it is. It's about end of January. I made a video beginning of December. So here it is, January 2022. So what do we have here? Right here we have a 5500 rotor. They're about 15 and a quarter. 5500 rotor. It's about 15 and a quarter. 10 bolt. Now if we look at the disc, this is a 3500 rotor. So here's the difference in them side by side. Obviously, one's got a bigger diameter and it also has a whole lot more weight. Remember now, all a rotor is is a heat sink. You're converting kinetic energy of motion into thermal energy by the process of friction. So that's what we're doing. So I told y'all, so if you see there's some marked differences, the damn thing's got to fit. This hat's about 400 taller than this one, so, you know, you can send prints to people, get you some rotors made, you can send prints and you can send a prototype where they can do a mold right off the prototype, and that's what I wanted to show you that we've begun to do. Look right here. This is a visual video of the first ever in the entire world. This is a hybrid rotor. So what have we got here? We have the disc of a 5500. We've lowered the hat to match this. So now we have the hat of a 3500. So. I think that y'all are getting somewhere and understanding. So if we bore this out, put our stuff in here, this is going to bolt up to our 3500. Sure is. What do you think about that? Yeah. So as I've often found, once you get the rotor taken care of, on your brake kits, when you figure out all your bearings and your rotors and how you're going to do that, then it's downhill from there. And I sure have designed a shitload of them. God bless you. God bless America. And get you a big brake kit for that Dodge Ram. Bye.